I gotta clean this up. Not much, but you know, it's better than what it was. I've been making YouTube videos for about two years now. Coming up on two years, August 20th, 2017 is when I uploaded my very first video. What's up everybody? Um, my name is Jabbar Perry. I'm starting a new fitness YouTube channel called Abdul Aesthetics. Uh, basically a um, natural bodybuilding channel that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. Excuse the rough hair. Uh, but I never really had the courage to do so. I'm, uh, I figured, shit, I'm 25 now, so fuck. If not now, you know, when? From then to now, it's been a lot of ups and downs, you know, rises and falls, lefts and rights, things like that. And one thing I can really take from it is I'm really glad I went through with doing it. I wanted to do YouTube six years before I actually made my channel, before I actually went through with it and actually did it. And the only reason I didn't do it sooner was because I didn't think that I could. I didn't think that I could be one of the top YouTube guys. I didn't think that I could actually put the person that I am on wax and then put it in video format for the world to see. Once I finally got over that, I was like, you know what? I might as well make it. And like I said, I uploaded my very first video August 20th of 2017. Those were some rough times. The things that I was dealing with back then were crazy and I don't know how I was able to manage that and be able to put up content over and over and over again when it wasn't getting the type of response that I wanted it to. But now I'm in a slightly better position. Obviously it's still a grind to get to where I want to be because I only have 550 subscribers right now. 553 to be exact. And so I am by no means a big YouTuber. but. That is what the grind is for. That is why I continually make videos. That is why I still put up content because I know that one day I will be. I've seen lots of videos on how to grow your channel, how to get subscribers, how to get more feedback, how to get your videos monetized. I've seen all those videos and they all have similarities and this video will have some similarities as well. But the one thing I never saw was a smaller channel detailing how it got to a certain level, whether it being 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 subscribers, you know, something like that. I haven't seen that. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to do that because I know everybody, not everybody, but every day there's a new YouTuber starting. Every day there's somebody that thinks they want to do it and I'm here to say you should do it. So I'm going to detail how I went from zero subscribers to 500 subscribers because realistically anybody can do it. It just takes a lot of effort, time, and energy. So I'm going to detail the five things that any small YouTuber should do if they want to grow their channel at a decent rate. I got water on my hands. Anyway, we're going to get into the first thing that you need to do. It's the most simple thing to do when trying to go from zero to 500 subscribers. And that is you have to get started. You gotta come up with a name for your channel. You have to come up with the type of content that you're going to put on your channel and get started. Like I said previously, it took me four to six years to actually say, I'm going to do it, I'm going to actually make it happen and then actually make it happen. I didn't think that anything good would come out of it. I felt like I'd probably be wasting my time because it was just something that I figured I couldn't do. And that was just one of the biggest lies I ever told myself. And anybody that's been an OG subscriber to my channel since August of 2017 would see the slow but steady progression from six subscribers to 553. From August of 2017 to December of 2017, I got maybe 110 subscribers. And for the entire year of 2018, I went from 110 
to 350 subscribers. I started 2019 off with 350 subscribers and I worked my way all the way up to where I am now. And this is only the halfway point. So the sky is pretty much the limit. But I couldn't do any of that. I couldn't make any of that progress. I couldn't show any of those numbers if I didn't get started. So if you really want to make YouTube videos, if you really want YouTube to be a part of your everyday life, or if you really just want to give it a shot, you have to figure out what it is that you want to do and what may stop you from wanting to do it. And then once you get over that, you'll be fine. Number two thing, you have to believe in your content. You have to believe that whatever it is that you're doing, if you're that passionate about it, in the long term and in the long run, it's all gonna pay off for you. Because the number one killer of new YouTube dreams is the fact that people aren't going to watch it and people aren't going to be engaged as much as you would like and that makes you feel as though you're wasting your time. And I don't know anybody on earth that would continue to do something if they felt like they were genuinely wasting their time doing it. Because you could put that time towards other things. So it doesn't matter if you want to vlog, if you want to do fitness, if you want to talk about mental health, if you want to be funny, if you want to be a animator, if you want to talk about traveling, it doesn't matter what you want to do. Whatever it is that you want to do, make sure that you believe in it. Because the longer you do it, the more you put into it, the better off it'll be. More people will get involved, some people are gonna like it, some people aren't gonna like it, but they have to watch it to make that decision. And the people that like it are gonna start thumbing up the videos, sharing the videos, subscribing to your channel, and things of that nature. The number two thing is to definitely believe in whatever it is you're doing, just believe that it can work out for you, and it will. See that? I didn't get that 405. 425 is my current max. Haven't been able to get it in a couple months. Failure is all a part of the process. You can't enjoy success if you don't fail. At least one or two times. The number three thing is exposure, exposure, exposure. Don't be afraid to actively engage with people in person to tell them about your content. Don't be afraid to tell people that you see or at places that you usually go to tell them, hey, I have a channel, this is what it's about, and you don't have to subscribe just yet, but you can watch it and see if it's something that you're into. And if you are into it, subscribe and things of that nature if you don't mind. I do that with the gym. Places I go to a lot are the gym, Walmart, certain stores, and places like that. Because when you go to places a lot, people tend to see you more often and when they see you they get used to seeing you and that makes it easier and easier for you to approach people whether you're an introvert or an extrovert I'm more of an extrovert I don't have a problem talking to anybody about anything so when you build up the courage to say hey my name is whatever it is this is what my channel is about uh, how often you go on YouTube or something like that because I do that I'll walk up to friends and say hey man how often you go on YouTube after a conversation that we've had and they'll tell me you know I go on YouTube a lot say hey man I have a channel I think you should subscribe if you're into whatever 
what my channel is about and go from there. A lot of times in conversations with people, I always bring up my channel because you never know this person may be looking for some type of content that you are presenting to the world. You see what I'm saying? The second part is social media. Every time I upload a video, I'm constantly putting it in people's faces saying, hey, this is what it's about. You should check it out. I'll give them like a 20 to 50 second trailer of what it's about in the video and then they may watch it, they may not. Let's say you put a trailer of your video on social media. You might get 100 people to watch that trailer and out of those 100 people, only 20 people click on the link. And out of those 20 people that click on the link to actually go to the channel, five people actually stay and watch the entire video. And out of those five people that watch the video, only one person subscribed. So you went from 100 people who are interested, 20 people who went through with it, five people who saw it to the end, and one person who subscribed. And I know you may be thinking, oh man, only one subscriber, that's nothing, what? That's one more subscriber than you had before you even put any of this stuff up. And that's the type of mindset you gotta have. So if you keep those two up, the social media and the letting people know about your channel, it's a good chance that people are gonna be willing to subscribe to it because one, you went up to them personally, and two, your consistency online. Walmart just bum fumbling and lollygagging. <laughs> Three hours later. All right, so I'm out here at Daniel Island right next to this fountain. I believe we're on number four. The fourth most important thing, make it unique. A lot of new creators get caught in the storm of not being able to come up with original ideas. One thing you gotta understand if you're a new content creator, especially on YouTube or anything like that, anything that you probably want to do as far as content wise has either already been done or is going to be done before you can get to it. Take for example this video, vlogging. The lifeblood of YouTube was vlogging at one point in time. Then it just got really big and now so many avenues of content that it's really, it's pretty much endless virtually. And one thing people get discouraged and like, wow, I wanna make this video but that person already made this video. I wanna do this but that person already did that. It's all about how you can make it unique. I haven't seen a smaller channel make a video about how to grow your channel to a certain level, even though you're still small, but pertaining to new YouTubers and actually being more relatable. Because you can listen to a YouTuber with 2 million subscribers, 50,000 subscribers, 500,000 subscribers. You can listen to them about how to grow your channel and there's still gonna be that thought of, wow, they have so many subscribers that I understand what they're saying and it may be factual, but I just can't relate to them because they have so many. I've never seen a smaller channel do something like this. So I figured, hey, I can make it unique in that way by doing it myself. And also taking you along for my entire day, from my workouts, from what I was eating, to hanging out with my friend, doing this, that, and the third. I'm actually gonna go shoot some basketball after this. You know, just all of these things, man. Everybody's unique in their own way. Everybody thinks differently. Some of us are alike, but we're not the same. So you need to put that uniqueness into your content and make it your own. It's just like a plate of food. We all can make steak. Some of us can make medium well steaks. Some of us make well done steaks. Some of us make medium rare. And some of us saute onions and put them on top. Some of us saute green pepper. You see what I'm saying? It's just, it's just like that. It's the same thing, but it's unique to the individual. You see what I'm saying? I'm just gonna get right into it. The number five thing is something you've already heard if you've watched videos on how to grow your channel. It's very cliche, it's the pretty much the end all be all of all of the things that I've been talking about in this entire list. You have to be consistent. Consistency, is it varies from person to person. Like, I can honestly say I haven't been very consistent with my channel. How it works is the more consistent you are and the more your fan base grows, the more likely people are to be waiting for a video for you to upload videos. I can't tell you how many YouTubers I actually wait for to upload a video because I know their schedule. Some YouTubers I follow, they upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Some of them upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Some of them upload only on the weekends. And I know their schedule just because they've been doing it for so long. So if you can develop a schedule and be consistent with it and stick to it, you'll have more of a loyal following. 
if that makes any sense. You'll have people who've been subscribed since day one that'll actually be looking forward to what you're doing. For example, when I first started out, I wanted to upload every single day. And because of work, mental things and stuff like that, it was kind of impossible for me to do that. So I decided if I'm not gonna be able to upload every day, I'm gonna at least upload twice a week. All right, I don't know what day, but I'm at least gonna do it twice a week. That kind of fell short, so I said, all right, I'm at least do once a week. And I kind of stuck with that for a while. And then I got things cracking, and it was every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I did that for a couple months. What I'm trying to say is, if you can develop a system to where I'm gonna talk about this topic on this day, and I'm gonna be consistent with it. I'm gonna talk about mental health on Mondays, I'm gonna talk about fitness on Wednesdays, and I'm gonna make a comedy skit on Fridays. If you do that over and over and over and over again, people will be more willing to watch your channel. They'll be more willing to be engaged into what you're doing. Those are the five things that I have done to grow my channel, and those are the five things for any small YouTuber, which you, if you are a small YouTuber, could do to help grow your channel faster. So uh, with that being said, man, I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all enjoy watching as much as I enjoyed making it, because I really like vlogging. Um, I didn't know I liked vlogging until I did it. You know, it's one of those things where you're like, wow, I didn't know I really liked doing this until I did it. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, like I said, man, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. You know it helps the channel grow. And until next time, deuce.